YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outline. I'm back. Now, what I want you to do is pay attention to the hairline. You see the hairline in the front right there. You see it's pushed back on the sidebar. Don't ask me down to come in why you did what you did, because I had to do what I had to do. You did what I'm saying. If you're paying attention, then God dang, you know what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Tired of explaining this down in the comment section, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I think some of y'all just like to say negative stuff. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, this is a mid fade. We're going to start it off. We bring it up about half an inch above the ear because that's where I want to start. I want to give myself uh, some room to fade, right? So, first thing we do is make our guideline all the way around the head and we try to make it even as possible, right? Now, uh, I know y'all don't see me do a lot of straight hair. Uh, haircuts, uh, but I don't get a lot of them. But when I do get them, I pop them out for y'all. You dig what I'm saying? So, the thing about straight hair is it comes off very easy, and uh, it's a different type of fading technique, right? For me, anyway, you know, it's a little since the hair comes off easier, I don't have to be so, um, uh, I don't know, uh intentional like i can just do it a lot of it is like cleaning up and just being careful with the dark spots so that's what i focused on right and i use my uh four shavers right here this is the uno right because it's just one four one head for the four right it's not like a double but this is good for uh this this shaver is good for things like this just cleaning up uh on the hair uh under the haircut right when you're doing the mid fade you know the cleanup part so we want to get it as bald as possible so when we do uh do the fade everything will start blending and looking real clean so after we do that we got it down i'm using my uh complete alphas right here this is similar to like a magic clip or senior or any type of uh, adjustable clipper that you already use so we open the lever all the way up we don't have a guard I go up a little bit above the original guideline that we just did. I go up like half an inch, right? Y'all know this. So you do that, you work your way all the way around the head for that. Now, once we're done with that, we come with our zero guard. This is a zero guard using a uh, gamma or style crest uh clippers and tools but if you have a wall or something like that you can just use a one guard right here one guard open and we're going a little bit above the second guideline that we did with the no guard so we go we make the first guideline which we did with our trimmers we come up above that guideline that we set with the trimmers we use no guard open and we go up some and then we come back with a zero guard or a one guard and we go above the the uh, other guideline that was made prior to this, right? So you're just going above guidelines and you're taking our lines, right? That's the objective to blending, objective to failing. That's what we do. So you see this right here? I'm setting everything up to make everything go as smooth as possible. So now right here, I have my one and a half guard, right? And he didn't want none off the top. So because he didn't want any off the top, I didn't know exactly what length it would be. Uh, it's probably more so like a three against the grain if I had to guess on top. Three, maybe four on top. But I, we didn't cut the top down because he didn't want any of it down. So I just used my one and a half to go above the guideline previous to that. And we want to just go up to, like, the occipital bone, right? We just want to go there, right? We just want to go up to the top and stop, right? So we just clean it up, working our way diligently around the head, trying to make sure everything is even. Now, once we're done with that, we want to come back. We got our one guard here, which would be uh, the same, like uh, a one guard with wall clippers right so it's one guard so we do this and we clean up any dark spots we see now 
I focused on one side of the head. Once I started just fading all the way, I was working my way around the head. But I want to show you one side really well so you can understand the fading process, right? So as we lower our guards, as we come down from like one and a half to one to zero to none, we are steady going down with our fading technique. What I mean by that, we're not fading up as high. So you see where my guard is, where I'm putting the clipper at? I'm keeping it low. I don't want to go up to the top where it's dark at because it's just going to make more lines. So I'm working my way down to clean up the area. Right here, I have a zero guard, right, which could be a half guard. I don't know. You know, it's different for different clippers. But for me, this is like a half guard, right? So, um, what you want to do is just stay, stay consistent, stay trying to clean up the dark spots, but keeping it low, right? We want to keep it low. You see this right here? So, all that at the bottom where I'm at right now, that's what I'm trying to remove. I'm trying to blend that in, trying to make it smooth, trying to make everything go together. So, after that, we want to come back and use no guard. We eventually work our way back down to where we use all the guards and we just want to remove the first guideline. So here I'm taking no guard. I'm using the corner of my blade. Remember, you have to use the corner of the blade. And see, the fade is coming out nicely how we want it. You know, we remove the lines um, and everything is starting to come together. Of course, we have some dark spots at the top, but I'm going to show you how to remove that also. Now, if seeing like the hair not coming off, you see I'm using my top thumb where the brush is. I'm using that to stretch the skin, right? You still have to stretch the skin in order to get the best look. Now, here I use clip over comb. Boom, pick my spots. Clip over comb can save you a lot of time, and it can help you customize the fade better, right? That's what I like to say, customizing the fade. Because it's easier. It just allows you to do some things that your guard maybe can't do, right? Because I'm able to pick my spots more. And sometimes you know you have to use a different comb. Or maybe this comb might be a little bit too big. But I'm sure I ended up switching combs somewhere along here. But you see I'm getting everything to start blending. Like right here I told you I switched combs. So because I want to get closer to the hair, right? Because it, um, a, a wider comb, bigger comb, won't let me get this close to the hair. So that's what I was doing here. And also, I'm still using the corner of the blade when I'm, I'm blending. So you see, like, I, I took the, the uh, comb off and then I just started blending. So using clip over comb gives you like a two for one type deal where you know, uh, it helps you fade faster and things like that. So it's good to be able to incorporate clip over comb into your haircuts in order to customize them, in order to cut half at a faster pace. Now, although I'm not showing the other side, I wanted to show you the back. So this is the back of the hair. It, we do the exact same thing. We just starting with a bigger guard because it's a swirl pattern back here, but we work our way down the same as we did on the side and to get the same look. another K Town B.
So after I got done with the, the back part, I still felt like it was a little bit of dark spot right here. So I came back and did a little bit more clip over comb work. And sometimes you, you run into those type of issues, but it's okay. Take your time, go back, clean up. Uh, it's no rush when doing a haircut. Somebody asked me under my last post, how long should it take to do a haircut? It really is as long as it takes you to do it, but you should aim for 30 to 45 minutes. 45 minutes is max time for me on a haircut. Now, right here we got our Mr. Outline of Detail and Miss. Y'all already know what, to do, what this do. It's already in stock. You know how to get it. I'll leave it in the description box. You can click on the link, pick you up a bottle. Boom, you're in the game, right? You can uh, start getting those crispy lineups like I do. Now, uh, we are going to use enhancements on this haircut uh, to make it pop. And also, I want to show y'all this new blade by Stylecraft. Stylecraft Gamma, same company, but... This is a style craft. You see this gold blade right here? This gold deep tooth blade right here? Man, when I tell you it's the truth, along with my detailing miss, oh, you can't miss. You can't miss with the detailing mist in this. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, so you see how crispy that lineup is, right? So when you're using the detailing mist, you want to spray it. You can spray it early on to let it dry and sink in. The product really works well when you let it dry, right? Somebody going to say, oh, there's number of spritz or something like that, right? Similar, but not the same. This is not going to clog up your clippers. It's not going to do what that normal spritz stuff does, chalky film, all that type of stuff. We don't do that over here. We professionals. This is a professional bottle right here. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, you see how crispy that lineup is already without enhancements or anything like that. Just the Mr. Outline Mist in this blade. The thing about this blade, you don't necessarily have to set it, right? It's preference. It's always a preference. But if you want to use it straight out the box, sure, it works straight out the box. No, hands down, right? Straight out the box. I, I like it, right? I did, did, I did a minor adjustment to it, but again, I didn't have to. It was just basically preference, right? And as I was showing you early on in the video about like his, his vertical bars were, you know, pushed back a lot and stuff like that, I'm just trying to correct the hairline to what I think it should be at this point, right? So the thing about doing hairlines, you you wanted to make it look the way that you think it should look, right? You want to get it to that place, right? And also, he's a barber, right? He's a young, up-and-coming barber. He moved from Alabama. He came down to holler at me, right? So at the same time, while I'm doing this, I'm trying to teach him or show him where his hairline should be. Now, after I get that going, I want to start using uh, I want to start using my color enhancement, right? I'm using color enhancement first, and then I'll come back and use hair fiber, right? The reason why I'm using both is because it's a, his hair density is thicker on one side than the other, right? Uh, like towards the front, it's thick. We want everything to look full, natural. We don't want it to look too spotty or nothing like that. So I had to use the brush to kind of brush it in. It's tricky, especially when the hairline has been pushed back and you're using color. It can start looking a little a little tricky, right? A little bit off. You see how far his hairline was pushed back? I brought it to the front right here. So the thing I don't like about color is it kind of leaves like a little glare or something, you know, or it's a little difference in shading and the color. So that's the tricky part about color and it's not as full. So... I really like to use hair fiber like what I'm using right here because the hair fiber, boom, makes it look full. You see that instantly, right? But the color is going to stain the scalp, stain the skin, so it'll be there longer than the hair fiber will. That's the only difference, right? But if you ask me, my first choice will always be hair fiber. It just doesn't last as long, right? So, boom, you see it. Everything's coming out good. I didn't you know, create a line with hair fiber or color, I use the line that I already have. Mm. 
Now, once all of those things are in place, then we come back and we just touch up everything again. We just want to make the lines a little bit more sharp, more crisp, be a little bit more intentional. If anything is off, we want to try to fix it right here. You know what I mean? So I think I got this lineup as, as good as I could, as, as possible, as sharp, as crisp. Uh, I just want to make sure everything is kind of blending in well. If you um, put too much hair fiber or something, you use the wide end of a comb to get it to look like how you want it to look like, right? So what y'all think about this haircut down in the comment section? Y'all leave me some, you know, leave, drop me some jewels on this thing. If you got if you got some coloring tips for me, hey, drop them down in there too, man. I, you know, I take all types of advice from everybody. You dig what I'm saying? You see what I was saying about the color, though, when the hair has been pushed back? That's the only thing about color I really don't like you know the color difference and trying to make it up half hours are much easier but it still came out good right no problem so after that we got everything how we wanted we come back and we just clean up clean up his face you know to make everything still go together and all that once i once i'm done you can see the haircut from the side boom this thing is popping it's hitting it's going down you dig what i'm saying So we did that side, we got this side. So you see how everything lined up. The haircut still came out pretty good for me. I liked it, he liked it, everything like that. You see the precision. It just took me a little bit more time with his haircut. Uh, I felt like um, I needed to work it a bunch of different ways to get the look that I wanted to get. Um, maybe the next haircut will be a little bit faster and that's why I really only showed you one side of the haircut so you can focus on getting the type of look you want to get right so we got the haircut down so uh again this is a, a mid fade for me right mid fade kind of high i don't know what y'all would call it leave it down in the comment section but that's the video for today uh don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it until next time love peace and hair grease I'm out.